How'd you do one? I just feel get that win, uh, MSG. Man, it feels great, man. You know, last time I fought here, UFC 205, it was a draw. But we got a fight of the night. It's just awesome to be back here at Madison Square Garden, fighting in front of my fans here in New York City, which is a home away from home for me. And to get that W, man, it's awesome to be back in the octagon. I've been out uh, for eight months, you know, with a knee injury, MCL and meniscus tear. Felt a little, um, a little slow in the first, but as the, as the rounds went on, I felt a little bit more comfortable being out there. My time was, I felt was was on point. Uh, man, he's a tough dude, man. Uh, I knocked him down in the second round, got right back up smiling. Um, I knew he was going to be a very hard guy to finish. I knew he was going to come out looking for the leg kicks. Um, so I tried to bait him a little bit, but he didn't overextend on it. Um, he, man, he's tough, man. He's tough. He's definitely number four for a reason. Did that surgery, is that one of the reasons why you didn't throw as many kicks, or was that technical, or was um, it both? Well, he did a very good job of, of catching and scooping my kicks. kicks. There's a few of them where I spun all the way around. Um, I should have ended up throwing more double kicks. I know I threw a side kick to the body and hit him in the head with the first, uh, with the side kick, second side kick. So I, I should have threw a little bit more, but yeah, a, a little bit, I would say so, You know, especially with my right leg. What do you think you'll have to do to get back in that title picture? You know what, of course, obviously coming out here with a knockout would be, would be awesome, but it didn't happen. I knew it was gonna be tough. But my eyes are, are always upward or forward, you know what I mean? Give me the winner or loser of RDA and Lawler, man. Winner or loser, give it to me. I don't care. Uh, how damaging were the Lakers? Say that again? How damaging were the Lakers? Um, not bad, man. They didn't, I, I didn't feel them one bit. Uh, there was a few, uh, several that I checked back to back. My shins felt really great. Uh, I do a lot of shin conditioning. Of course, when you have somebody like Chris Weidman kicking your legs, everybody else seems, you know, pretty soft but after the fight is on after the fight I can definitely feel uh, the soreness in my legs starting to starting to grow do you think he was a little distracted with all that Michael Bisping beef that he was getting into I don't know man I was wondering the same thing because I was uh, right next to him when it happened I was like hold up you know we got to fight first man you know don't go out there and start throwing blows to, with, with Bisping but uh, I don't think so man I you know he knows the game he does a lot of trash talking as well with his opponents he didn't do a lot with me I have a lot of respect for him and it was, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have this fight here right now. He actually shouted me out on social media. I was like, Stephen Wonderboy, where you at, man? Of course, I was on the injured list, but I was like, hey, I'm game. Let's get it going. So I uh, saw him at a few shows, and we're like, hey, man, let's get this thing going. Let's, let, you know, let's get this fight, man. I'm like, I know. Finally, the UFC jumped on board, and we got it here at Madison Square Garden. Do you think you have to be out of character and kind of do things to get back up since you kind of had the money picture with Tyron? You know... I don't think so, you know, I am who I am. If I started talking trash now, then people would just tell me to shut up. You know, Steven, we know that's not you, you know what I mean? But, uh, uh, you know, I mean, Masvidal, I mean, he's a beast, man. He finished Cerrone in the first, should have been the first round. You know, he went all three rounds with Damian Maya at his best. Couldn't finish him there. I, th I even thought uh, he won it. I thought Masvidal won it. So, um, like I said, man, you know, my eyes are forward. And, I want to. I want to get. I want to, I'm not giving up on that title. There's the talk that uh, with the RDA fight that you know, Lawler that they may make the winner of that yep. the title fight. So like, do you have a contingency fight that may be in your head? No, nope, the one of those two. You know, I mean, a lot of things that Dana White says doesn't come to fruition. You know what I mean? He does say a lot. Um, um, you know, if it, if if depending on how how long Tyron's out, I know he, I think he's on the injured list. So depending on that, man, give me the, give me that Lawler shot, or, or give me the winner of that of those two fights. If not that, if that if the winner gets the next shot, give me the loser. You know, I, I'm still working my way up. First time in a while that you don't fight five rounds. Does it feel fulfilling? Does yeah. it feel like an easy day at the office? Yeah, I wouldn't say an easy day at the office, but uh, you know, it, it is a little different to prepare for. I mean. With five, five minute rounds, you do have a sense of, hey, I, I can take a, I, some people like to take breaks up during those rounds, you know, fourth round, I want to take it easy, just stick my jab. With a three round fight, you know, it's like, uh, you, have, you have, I think, uh, uh, a sense of urgency, I think, in those three rounds to get the job done, because you only have three rounds to do it, you know? But um, even in practice, we're still doing five, five minute round fights. You know, we're always prepare, preparing for that for that main event or that, that title uh, shot, you know what I mean? So we're always doing five fives. I know I could do three fives easy. But, you know, it was a little bit different to prepare for. You know, after that third round, I'm, think, I'm still thinking we're going two more, you know? And it was like, it's over. I'm like, oh, man, okay.
Welterweight is arguably the most interesting division right now because you have, you know, the guys at the top, as you mentioned, RDA, Lawler, yourself, Mark Vidal, Woodley, of course. And then you have this, like, influx of young guys like oh, Usman and Darren Till and Mike Perry and Colby Covington. What do you make of Mr. Covington, who's uh, ruffling a lot of feathers? He's a very he polarizing is. figure. He's playing the game, man. Let me tell you. He's, uh, he finished Damian Maya. Uh, do I think it was the best Damian Maya? No, I don't. But he finished Damian Maya, man, which is a feat in its own. I mean, he, he's ruffling some feathers, man. He's making he's making his shout. I think I agree with you. The welterweight division is, I think, the toughest and the most exciting division in the UFC right now. There's not a real set number one contender. You know, you got all these young guys coming up, like you said. Everybody in the top ten has the potential to have the title, to be the title, the, the, the champion. They're that good. So everybody that's coming up, I'm keeping my eye on, man. But the one that, if, if you had it your way, it would be the RDA Lawler fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that would be awesome, especially Lawler. I've been wanting to fight him for a while. I'm a huge fan of Lawler. Fight, uh, watching him fight Strike Force, you know, back in the day, very tough. I, and that's the guy I was actually preparing for to fight for that title. I thought he was going to be Tyrant. Of course, Tyrant proved, proved us wrong. But, uh, man, I think that would be a, a beast of a fight. Stephen, did it free up your offense a little bit today that you didn't necessarily have to worry about the takedown? <clears throat> Excuse me, like you did against Tyron the last two times. Um, I knew my opponent, uh, my opponent wasn't as strong as Tyron, but I know he's very crafty. So I knew he was going to look for something at least to, to close the gap to work for the clinch, which he did. Uh, my takedown defense, I've been working really hard on with Chris Wyman, my coach, my wrestling coach, Coach Thomas Lee, uh, my buddy Carl Reed, uh, my brother-in-law Carlos Machado. Uh, my ground game is getting better every day, so I knew he was going to look for that. It didn't really worry me that much. Um, so yeah, I was able to throw my throw my hands and feet a little bit more because uh, I didn't have to worry about that. Congrats, Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. It's good to see you, my friend. No tornado has been happening after our last one. <laughs>